Hello everyone, welcome to PA Academy. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you uh, how to use your 45 degree set square to draw an octagon. So when we talk about octagon, it has um, eight sides. So something like this. So you can see this is just a free hand sketch, so it's looking irregular. So you, can, so you can use your set square and your ruler to draw an octagon. So this time around, we are not going to be using um, a compass because you can also use a compass to get it. Neither are we going to be using a protractor. So we are not going to be using any of these two tools. Two, so we are going to be using just a 45 degree set square. So this angle here, so this angle and this angle is 45 why this is angle uh, 90 so i'm going to be putting it to use and i'm going to be seeing how we can use it to get octagon so we are going to be using set square and our ruler and then our pencil so those are the things we just need so to start with okay we are going to be using a length of five centimeter length of five centimeter for the sides of the octagon so the first thing let's draw the uh, the first side as a base so let's measure the five centimeter so I'll be picking it from this point on the ruler from point 10 to point 15, that's five centimeter. So if you, if, uh, if you see that I'm using two rulers, I'm using two ruler, one is resting. This one that I used to measure is resting on this second on this second ruler. So now the next thing I'm going to do is let's call this point point A and then this point point B. So just make sure that this ruler is not, I uh, don't move or don't shake. And if you can have, depending on your board on, or what you are using to draw, if you have something to hold that can help you hold on to, to the ruler, it will be very good. So now you just pick your 45 degree set square in this position. In this position that I'm holding it. And then let it rest on this ruler. And adjust it to your right till you get to that point B. Till it gets to exactly point B. So from point B, you draw a straight line. I mean, draw just draw a line to follow that set square like this. So then what you can do again, so you move your set square like this to the other direction. So from point A also, draw a line straight up. So what we are going to do, let's measure 5 cm from those two lines. So let's mark 5 cm, which is be the length for those sides. So for 5 cm, this is it here. This is the point. So I'll measure the 5 cm here also. So let me just make it bold. Let me make this to the one on this side also. Let's make it bold. Okay. So let's call this point C and let's call this point D. So you pick your, your set square again, your 45 degree set square this time around. You put it in this position at angle 90. So let it rest on the ruler. And then you move it to point C. So when it's on point C, so from point C you draw straight line up. So you adjust it also and come to point D. So from here, this point also you measure the five centimeter. Okay, 
So let's call this E and let's call this point F. So we bring in our set square, a 45 degree set square. Okay, it can still get there. Or maybe what I can do again to make it a little up, go up a bit. So. so let me just be sure that the So now you can uh, I've moved my ruler. So you just have to be careful when doing this thing to make sure that every all the angles are exactly 45. Okay. So I've I adjust the set square to point E. So from point E. Straight up, then I'll come to point F. Okay, so now I can let the ruler go. So now let me just measure the five centimeter for this point. And then for this point also, <laughs> so to make the last side, let's see. So if you look at it, if you measure the last part of it, consider it's giving us even with why we are here to draw the last line. If but if we should measure the two points, see that it's giving us five centimeter. So that's to tell us that we are correct. You know the construction all through is correct. So let me measure it again from this side so so you can see it so if at the end if you are measuring the last um the last side of the octagon and you are seeing that the pair is not giving you the length that you have been using then that's to tell you that something is wrong you know with the construction all through so that is it so let's call this um ef g and h let's call g and h so that is so here is the um the octagon using your ruler and your set square so let's just note the angles so let's just note the angles. So this angle is 45 degrees, and this angle here is 45 degrees. So on point E and point F, so I'll just draw a small line inwards. So this point here is 45 degrees, and this angle here is also 45 degrees. It's also 45 degrees. And that is it for this video on how to use your ruler and your 45 degree set square to draw an octagon when giving the side. So all the sides here are 5 centimeter, 5 centimeter, 5 centimeter each, which is the same thing as 15 millimeter, depending on the unit you are used to. Alright, so that's it for this video. If you find this video helpful, uh, kindly cl uh, click on the like button. If you are yet to subscribe to PA Academy, Kindly click on the subscribe button and I'll see you all in another video. Thank you.